Peter Kay couldn't hold back his emotions as he returned to the stage for his first stand-up tour in 12 years last night. Comedian Peter Kay, 49, was left overwhelmed when he received a standing ovation at Manchester's Our Arena on Friday night. The star was applauded by a sell-out crowd in Manchester, which is 16 miles from his hometown of Bolton. Peter's fans chanted his name as he took to the stage, causing him to break down in tears during the first show of his 110-day tour. He could be seen wiping away tears with a tissue while the audience cheered him on. The British comedy legend told the crowd, Oh you'll have me in bits. Lovely Manchester you made me cry. I can't believe I cried, where did it come from all that emotion? It comes after Peter's announcement that he would be returning to stand-up comedy sparked a frenzy last month. His tour, named Better Late Than Never after the comic took an extended break from touring for the past 12 years, was instantly in high demand, as tickets sold out in record time. Just before Peter arrived at his opening gig in Manchester last night, touts were reselling the tickets for £155 per person to fans who were desperate to watch their favourite comedian's comeback show. Peter had attempted to make sure the tickets were at the lowest price they could be due to the cost of living crisis in the UK. The TV star charged fans just £35 per ticket, the same cost as his last tour. which took place back in 2010. Peter's tour kicked off this month and is scheduled to run until August 2023. To the joy of his fans, Peter went on to announce a London residency at the O2 Arena. It's clear that despite his long absence from the stage, Peter's shows are as much in demand as ever. The comic's last live stand-up tour in 2010 holds the Guinness World Record for the biggest-selling comedy tour of all time. 1.2 million people bought tickets to watch him perform at the time. In November this year, Peter had to issue a statement telling fans to please persevere after the website assigned to release pre-sale tickets for his first gigs in 10 years crashed within minutes of going live. 